This video shows a plate girder being tested under bending. The material used in this test is an aluminium alloy. The web has shear stiffness to prevent it from buckling. The loading diagram shows the beam is subjected to four point bending. The beam is simply supported and it is also restrained laterally at four individual locations along the length of the beam. The testing rig is now starting to apply a pair of equal vertical loads to the central third of the beam. As the loading is applied, the beam begins to sag. The top flange is effectively under pure compression. Once the compressive stress exceeds the flange critical stress, buckling of the flange will occur. This can be seen as ripples along the length of the flange. These ripples reduce the beam stiffness and deflections become higher. Now let's zoom in on the central portion and at the same time look down from above. You can see that the ripples are evenly distributed along the top of the flange. Eventually the flange shows plastic deformation and failure occurs. Let's have a look at the left-hand end of the beam to see another effect. Local buckling in the flange reduces the stiffness of the overall cross-section, which affects the internal stresses within the beam. Here, shear buckling of the web is seen as a direct consequence. This type of combination of buckling modes can in fact cause the beam to collapse catastrophically. The graph shows an initial linear relationship between the applied force and the vertical displacement corresponding to the bending of the beam. However, once local buckling of the flange occurs, the slope progressively reduces until it converges onto a reduced but still positive value. This demonstrates the inherently stable post-buckling response from the observed phenomenon.